Oh my goodness, I am actually on campus right now. This is the first time that I'm on campus since the pandemic started and I'm here for an event. I am doing orientation for um, the students who are in a special program called Thrive at my school and those students will be taking my pre-calculus class um, for the July session and so I'm giving a little presentation about what professors are expecting from their students and so I decided to frame it as like three myths that students have about professors you know students think that we expect too much they think that we don't care about them and they think we're unapproachable so I'm gonna bust those myths as well as like share what they can do to prepare and to meet their professors expectations all right so I'm about to go um, in the official meeting starts at 1 it's about 1245 and then my part starts at 120 all right I'll let you know how it goes All right, so and it went really well. There were technical glitches, so I came, all the students were already in there doing a different session. I was like, oh, I guess I'm just gonna walk in late <laughs> for my session. And um, they introduced me and I get my slides ready to go, set up on the screen. The projector did not actually work. <laughs> and so the whole time I was like, oh, well, I'll just do it without the projector while they fix it. They were literally fixing it the whole like 30 minutes. <laughs> But it was fine. I was able to engage the students and they seemed to really enjoy it and they see, they said they got out of it what I expected them to get out of it. So that was good. At the end, the students, a couple of students came up to me and met me and because a few of them were going to be in my class and um, one, a couple of students were like, oh my goodness, you look so young. She said, when you came in late, I was like, oh, this student's just late. <laughs> I had no idea that you were a professor and I was like, happens to me every year. So I wonder when's the year that people are going to stop thinking that I'm a student? Like when do I officially age? <laughs> um, but since I was out and about and I put on makeup and everything, I was like, well, let's just get the most out of this day. So I actually filmed a YouTube video for grad students for my YouTube channel. Um, so I filmed one like on campus, just like outside. And then I'm filming this vlog. So I'm about to just go home and relax and chill. And I'll let you know if I do anything to prep for my class on um, Monday. Hello, so it is actually Sunday. So last we left off, it was after my orientation Saturday afternoon. I just spent the rest of the day resting and like thinking and planning about what I wanted to do today. Normally Saturday is like an off day for me, but occasionally I have to, you know, make concessions to do other things. And that orientation thing was a great thing to do. Um, so I spent the rest of the day resting, preparing for today because today's a busy day. Tomorrow is my first day of class for my summer session. So my syllabus is already written. I just have to add in a few like COVID guidelines um, and then like resend it out to my students with an email about what to do for the first day of class, what to bring on the first day, things like that. Um, but also I need to make sure I have every document that I want to hand out to the students. So we'll go through that together. But first, what I'm going to do is edit my YouTube video that I post every, so I post a YouTube video for grad students every Sunday on my YouTube channel. I filmed it yesterday, so today I'm going to edit it. And I have my notebook here because whenever I'm planning a video, I always like to make a nice like outline of it. That just helps me keep, uh, stay on like task and not, you know, ramble. People love that my videos are very like succinct um, and I love that too. I don't like to waste people's time. So I have my outline here and I always like to bring the outline back out when I'm editing the video just so I can like check pacing, but also I can go back and remember where did I say I was going to like, um, insert a link or insert another video or recommend something it gives me a chance to like double check all the things I want to share in the description of the video as well so I'm about to edit my video it is 
9.55, which is perfect timing. It usually takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to edit a video and upload it. Um, and at 10.30, my church is online, so I will be watching church. All right, so I finished um, watching church and lunch, and I was about to start working on school stuff uh, when I remembered I never shared my YouTube video on Instagram. And then I was like, oh, this video that I created, it would be really nice to like chop up into a small chunk and share that on Instagram. And then I remembered this software called Zubtitle, like subtitle but with a Z. And they give, they put subtitles on your videos in a nice, cute, branded way. And I remember looking this up, it was just earlier in the year, and I was like, oh, this is an expense that I can really justify. It was um, $19 a month or $190 for the year. And now looking at it, I'm at a place in my business, I was like, oh, this is a no-brainer. I have a video-based like business, and this is a great way to easily add branded subtitles without me doing a lot of work, and my business can afford this expense. And it was a no-brainer for me to just purchase it. So I'm about to um, edit a subtitle video and post it on my um, Instagram account and then I'll start getting ready for my class tomorrow. All right, so I'm so happy that I invested in Zubtitle. It literally took me like maybe a little more than five minutes just because I had to like figure out how all the things go. But in the future, it'll take about five minutes to make a nice branded, beautiful video with subtitles that's easily like accessible to read and to view for people. So I've moved on, now I'm doing teaching stuff and I'm preparing for the first day of class. So here's what I like to do to prepare for the first day of class to make sure I have everything because the first day is the day where there's so much potential to forget everything you need. There's so much potential to be running around like a chicken with their head cut off. Like, I need to do this, I need to do this and like rushing. And I really like to be able to relax a little before the first day of class or on the first day of class because it can feel a little nerve wracking and anxiety is already a little high. So I like to try to do as much as I can the day before. And so one way that I help myself not forget things is to write out exactly what I want to do in the class on the first day. So I've made this list here. And so in black, that's everything that I want to do in class. And in blue, these are like the reminders. Like I need to remember to get this thing and print this thing and write this thing. So the blue is basically the to-do list that correlates with everything I want to do in class. And then I want to send my students an email tonight um, to help them prepare for the first day. So these are some of the things that popped up for me when I was writing on this list of things that I want to email my students. So I'm just gonna start tackling this list and get as many things as I can done today so I don't have to do them tomorrow. All right, so I have everything ready and created that was on my to-do list. I also like to write a to-do list in class to let the students know like what all we're doing in class so they can kind of like track where we are and how many more things we have to do in the day. And I also like to put announcements on the board so the students know what to prepare for next time and it's sitting up there the whole time so hopefully they don't forget about it. Um, and I wrote out a list of things that I need to print um, when I get to the office tomorrow. Now what I'm about to do is write out my notes. So I always like to write like a shell of the notes um, for my classes, especially for freshman math students. Their note taking skills aren't really the best. So this is a nice way that I can like model how to take notes, but also they have a shell and they can just fill in. So we fill it out together in class and that's 
when I do to give notes. At the beginning, I usually have about three learning outcomes for the lesson and I write them out. Um, so first day of class, for this class, students will be able to plot points on the XY plane using coordinate system. Students will be able to determine the distance between two points on the XY plane using the distance formula. And students will be able to graph an equation on an XY plane to determine the X and Y intercepts of the equation. And so I have those there. And at the end, I actually just restate the learning outcomes as questions. And so this is like a self-assessment for the students. So I say, can you plot points in an XY plane using the coordinate system? So they need to go over that with themselves. And if any of these questions is no, they need to raise their hand and ask me a question. And so that's kind of how I formulate my pre-calculus class. So I need to write some notes. <laughs> These notes have been written before, but I just find that it's super helpful to just like redo them so that the problems are fresh in my brain for when I teach a new semester of class and I can get a good grasp on how long it's going to take so I don't like overestimate how much time or underestimate how much time I have in my class. So I've got my playlist here. I think I'm just going to listen to the Olivia Rodrigo um, uh, album, Sour. I just really love it, um, so I think um, some of these songs are going to be really good for me to like write my notes. So that's what I'm going to do next. Alright, so it's officially the end of the day. It is 9.17 p.m. after I got ready for a class, took a break, watched some TV, got some dinner, chilled. Then I prepared for a live video I'm doing on um, my new Instagram account at Dr. Toy and Ali. I'm going live every Monday at 11, so I had to prepare for that, took some notes and stuff. And um, I picked out an outfit for class tomorrow, and now I'm doing my final thing. So I'm in a mastermind for business and um, in this mastermind program we have like a weekly almost like to-do list thing it's called our next level weekly success path where we set intentions and goals for the week and it just helps to really like stay on track so I have my iPad this is the final thing I'm going to be doing today and then I'm gonna call it a night and get ready for the day in the morning I have kickboxing in the morning and then I'm I'm gonna take a shower and get ready for school. Then I'm gonna to head to campus right after that. Um, my class is at 1 p.m. All right, so I'm gonna fill this out and then I'll be done for the day. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that it was entertaining and enjoyable and maybe inspirational. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.